Hi, my name is Peter Dufresne from EPT Clean Oil, and I'm excited to be bringing this week's episode of In the Middle from Muscat, Oman. I'm here with my colleague. Hi, this is Khashayar Haji Ahmed, Business Development Manager for EPT Clean Oil. We are excited to record this session for you. And I wanted to have a conversation with Kishar today as an expert in bearings for all things mechanical and talk about some of the different failure modes and technical issues with respect to bearings that many people see from day to day. Thank you very much, Peter. No, let's separate bearings into rolling bearings and journal bearings first. We have uh, rotating equipment with rolling bearings, which are very critical, but very few of them. We have seen turbo machinery oils are more critical than rotating equipment with rolling bearings. So more focus is on journal bearings and their failures because they stop uh, turbo machinery to operate. So let us focus on journal bearings in this session. Uh, I have seen that the journal bearing failures are being analyzed, most of them by mechanical experts, and then trying to find the mechanical root cause. But, uh, exactly. you know, uh, the, this uh, oil film of, let's say, 10, 10 micron to 100 micron is going to fail first chemically, and then it will show itself by generating deposits on the journal bearing. And these deposits can create vibrations. They can cause vibration peaks going and coming, temperature peaks. So I have seen many mechanical people opening up a journal bearing for inspections, looking golden, looking this brownish color of varnish, and they don't know where it is coming from. That's interesting. So one of the things that I see um, on the journal bearing side is uh, the life of a journal bearing should be infinite, right? Should be, but, uh, you know, uh, once this oil film is uh, disturbed by any means, it can be mechanical means, it can be lubrication related as well, then it doesn't do the job. And then reliability issues happens. Yeah. I have seen most of the wheel analysis reports coming from this turbo machinery. The chemistry part is not at rest. So can you just talk about the little Sure. Bit like answer? in terms of failure modes of a journal bearing, um, there's a lot of misconception in the market that the primary cause of journal bearing failure would be particulate related. Would you agree that particulate related failure is a driving cause of journal bearing failure? No, because turbo machinery are located mostly in oil and gas fields and, you know, uh, power plants where you don't have a lot of particulate contamination in those areas. It could be uh, in some mines and so on, but mostly are not in the highly particulate but, contaminated area. But this is, isn't this the most interesting part? Because the maintenance that's done to protect journal bearings is really limited to particulate filtration, correct? Especially inline filters of turbo machinery lubrication systems are focusing on particle removal. And then when we talk about chemistry management, high acid numbers, high varnish potential, additive consumption per year, so nobody has a clue of it, or they are looking at OEM or lubricant manufacturer and looking at solutions. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. So what would you suggest then if uh, a user with journal bearings in a critical application are just doing particulate filtration? Would there be anything else that they could do? Uh, I would I would uh, recommend them addressing the main uh, failure mode of lubricant in this application, which is chemistry. Uh, manage the acid number, manage additive consumption, and then never allow any varnish, varnish incident to happen. This is what my, uh, my suggestion to them. And talking about the failure analysis of journal bearings, uh, you know, there are experts of journal bearings around the world, but many of such facilities, large oil and gas or power plants, they are having their own reliability teams taking care of these assets. And then most of them, they are mechanical people, very few, very low knowledge yeah. of lubrication and oil analysis. So I would really recommend coming to a company like EPT Clean Oil, which is an expert in lubricant chemistry management.